Muni bond valuations have reached their cheapest of the year after becoming, quote, irrationally rich in Q1. And it's not due to flagging fundamentals. My next guest is finding some back-to-school bargains. Here with his criteria for investing in schools is Dan Close. He's head of Muni Finance at Nuveen. Welcome to you. We're all in this mindset. I know you mentioned your kids are back to school as well. What is the angle for investors here, you think? Sure. You know, what we're looking at right now is just back to school investing. We've had more than $200 billion given to K through 12 schools that is just now rolling off. So at, at Nuveen, we're closely watching how different schools spent that money. Some schools, uh, we think, spent it very prudently. This was pandemic money? This was pandemic money that is just now rolling off. And some schools, uh, most schools, spent that very prudently by doing one-time capital projects. Others use that more for plugging deficits. So we're just uh, anxiously watching how some schools make those very difficult decisions. I've been seeing a lot of construction projects that the schools I drive by, maybe right. it's completely unrelated, maybe it's not. But so for our, which part of the school system, broadly speaking, our muni investors usually expect? To. So that's mainly the education sector. So it's a $4 trillion market, munis altogether. $550 billion or so are in the education sector. Most of that is K through 12, but where we've really seen the growth so far is in charter schools. We've seen charter schools, the school choice movement begin to issue more in the municipal bond market, more higher yielding securities. But our market has started to see uh, more of these uh, securities come online. Interesting you say that charter schools obviously need some deep pockets if they want to be successful. Right. They're up against, uh, you know, entrenched competition, but they all have a high failure rate. So that which I'm sure explains why they're in that portion of the market. What would you say to investors who are interested in saying, well, these are big yields and maybe I even support the project, but there's could be some default risk. Yeah, certainly. I mean, charter schools, unlike your traditional K through 12, actually cannot go in and levy taxes. So your K through 12 school, even though we've seen declining enrollment here from 2019 to 2023, um, you know, are in very, very good shape because they're backed by local property taxes and those have never been in better shape. Hmm. Uh, your charter schools really do require a lot of special attention and work. Um, at Naveen, we have four analysts that are just looking at this specific asset class because, you know, you have to go in and take a look at their success factors yeah. because you don't get your debt service on these if you don't have a success, successful outcome and you don't get your debt service on these if you don't have those enrollments. Absolutely. And there's probably not huge track records to draw on that kind of thing. So right. tactically speaking, people are watching this. They say, OK, I might go ask my advisor where either regionally or in kind of where do you think are the best uh, specific opportunities? Yeah, I mean, we're seeing a lot of opportunities. Primarily charter schools are in urban areas. Um, we see a lot of different states that are now, and I think we've seen the growth in charter schools primarily because of enabling legislation. So there's universal vouchers in states like Arizona and Florida. We've seen a lot of growth in different urban areas. And so, you know, we think that this, this growth opportunity is going to continue. We anticipate more than $5 billion in issuance in 2025. And this growth in charter schools, we've seen a 9% growth wow. in enrollment uh, from 2019 to 2023. Wow. But K through 12, we've seen about a 3.5% drop. So right. there's clearly a movement towards the school choice, towards trying to get STEM mm -hmm. Uh, trying to get curriculum choice, trying to move into these uh, to these schools. Yeah. And so we are seeing a, a, a growth in it and a need for financing. That's a great angle uh, on this back to school season. Dan, thank you. As people are spending money, maybe you can think, try to make some of it back. Appreciate your time today. Thank you so much. Dan Kelly. Close with Nuveen. We've got some news out of the Kamala Harris campaign. Megan Casella with the story. Megan. Hey, Kelly, so the Wall Street Journal is reporting that Kamala Harris is preparing to is planning to propose what they're calling a less drastic increase in the top capital gains tax rate. We have asked the campaign and they have not confirmed that to CNBC, but that's the Wall Street Journal report. And as a reminder, that top capital gains tax rate, that's what President Biden proposed raising from the roughly 20 percent level where it is now to as high as 39.6 percent. That's also the level where he wanted to see the top wage rate go. This is a break then for Vice President Harris from President Biden and just to note, too, that the journal is not reporting anything on that unrealized capital gains tax. They say there's no development there, but that she does still want to see the top rate rise uh, for the top capital gains tax rate, but just not as drastically as that 39.6% level, Kelly, where President Biden had proposed it. Back very to you. interesting. Megan, thank you very much. Megan Casella in D.C. Let's check out shares of U.S. Steel, which have now reopened for trading down about 16, almost 17 percent on a report. The Biden administration is preparing to block Nippon Steel's takeover. Much more on that next hour. The exchange is back after this. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Help build America's future with BAM insured Muni bonds. 
America is strong, and today's investments in essential American infrastructure make it even stronger. Build America Mutual only insures U.S. municipal bonds, providing an added layer of security to improve any portfolio with guaranteed income that helps investors reach their goals. Be part of building America. Build a better portfolio. Invest in BAM-insured bonds.